Hey, I'm with Mike Palmer and Gunther here at Premier Pet Supply, and we are talking about nutrition. And Mike, just looking behind you, there are so many options when it comes to finding that dog food or cat food. What are the things you should be considering when you're looking for the right food for your dog? It can be overwhelming when you walk into a store, but the things to consider are the type of breed that you have, toy breed, large breed, what you know, life stage the dog is in as well. If it's a younger dog, it's more active, or an older dog that may not be quite as active as it once was. Right, so Gunther's a French Bulldog. He's right. going to have something really different from a Great Dane. Absolutely, yeah. Protein right. levels should be different, everything. So when we're talking about nutrition, we got to go to the experts. We've got Samantha here, who's a certified pet nutritionist. And when I'm looking at labels for my dog, Zen, I want to have the best ingredients possible. What should I be looking for? You want to look for things um, with fresh meat, not byproduct meals. Um, you want to look for fillers that are, you know, pumpkin, chickpeas, peas. Natural. Instead of, yes, instead of corn, wheat, soy, um, a lot of times white potatoes can have issues for dogs. Um, and you want to make sure there's no vague ingredients, no meat meals, meat right. byproducts, animal fat, things that have no real definition, you want to avoid those. And we don't want to leave our feline friends out there, but when it comes to cats, uh, there were a lot of things that I didn't know about what you should and shouldn't feed your cat. Yes, cats need absolutely no grain. I, okay. I always tell owners, consider your cat um, like a tiger or an alligator. These are both obligate carnivores. You wouldn't expect an alligator to eat um, corn right. or white rice. Um, you want to keep it to their natural environment. To you some want extent. what their body was meant to process. Right. Meat, bones, organ, and then just a few, you know, veggies. But we want to leave as many carbs out as we possibly can. All right. Do you have any other advice that we should keep in mind? Because when you're looking at all these options, there's a lot to consider. I would ask a lot of questions. Okay. Um, you know, I train everybody here, and a lot of people know um, what to look for now. Right. But um, look for fresh ingredients and no grain. All right, fresh Indeed. ingredients and no grain, and that's so important once you build a relationship with the folks at your local pet store. These are questions that they'll have all the answers to. Thank you so much, Mike and Samantha. Gunther's down here. <laughs> we'll send it back to you. Gunther was so much fun. I mean, that smile is literally ear to ear. We like him. Just so happy.